This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump's White House transition also aims at party unity, mending fences. By Joseph Weber. President-elect Donald Trump's White House transition effort is starting to look like a 2016 GOP presidential primary reunion, with former rival Rick Perry scheduled for talks Monday as part of an apparent effort to mend fences and build party unity ahead of Inauguration Day. On Sunday, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, a primary rival turned Trump backer, was part of a parade of officials who visited the president-elect, who moved his transition team's headquarters for the weekend from Manhattan to Trump's private golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. The most high-profile visit this weekend was the arrival Saturday of former GOP presidential nominee Mitt Romney, who during the 2016 campaign called Trump a fraud and publicly backed several of the other 16 major candidates whom Trump vanquished in the primary. Trump, a first-time candidate, in turn called Romney a choke artist for his failed 2012 White House bid against President Obama. Both men suggested their roughly 90-minute meeting went well. But it remains unclear whether apologies were exchanged or if Romney is interested in the Secretary of State post. They did have some private time together, and you can ask either one of them what they talked about, Vice President-elect Mike Pence told Fox News Sunday. However, Pence did confirm the widely held assumption that Romney is indeed being considered to run the State Department, as Trump attempts to fill dozens of cabinet-level posts in other high-level jobs. He also said that Trump wants to focus out of the gate on repealing Obamacare, a plan that new Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, a New York acquaintance of Trump's, told Fox News Sunday that he'll strongly oppose. Other contenders for Secretary of State are said to be former U.N. Ambassador John Bolton, Tennessee Senator Bob Corker and South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, who met with Trump on Thursday. Trump on Saturday also met with retired Marine Corps General James Mattis, a possible candidate for Defense Secretary. He later said on Twitter that Mattis was very impressive and called him a true general's general. Also Sunday, Trump met with billionaire investor Wilbur Ross, a possible Secretary of Commerce, former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who is also purportedly in the running for Secretary of State, and Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach. Kobach served as an advisor to the Trump campaign on immigration issues and has a background in designing laws cracking down people who are here illegally. Texas Senator Ted Cruz, a finalist in the hard-fought GOP primary, last week visited Trump at Trump Tower in Midtown Manhattan. I think we had a very good and productive conversation about how we can work together to really deliver on the promises made to people," Cruz said afterward on Fox News Fox & Friends. On Friday, Trump picked Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions for Attorney General and Kansas Representative Mike Pompeo to head the CIA, signaling a sharp rightward shift in U.S. security policy as he begins to form his cabinet. Trump also named retired Lt. Gen. Michael Flynn as his national security advisor. A former military intelligence chief, Flynn has accused the Obama administration of being too soft on terrorism and has cast Islam as a political ideology and driver of extremism. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.